probably have about a good 30, 40 uh, plays underneath his belt. His family probably got tired of him coming to him about money. <laughs> so uh, and that, that's yeah. why I wanted to know because I know some young listeners uh, are young playwrights. Uh, I had a, a chance to interview Miss uh, Larita Smith. Um, yeah. She, you yeah. know, you know, she, yeah, she's a wonderful lady. Yeah. She actually came into the station with the two of her, uh, cast members and, uh, stage manager. But as a young playwright, you getting into this, they're not veterans like you two or yeah, like, yeah. Or, or like Mr. Shelley Garrett, who has the finances. And then you want to get somebody big, like on Netflix, they have plenty of African-American plays and every time I flip through the channel, I see Robin Givens, and I believe his name is Clifton Powell. Mm. Okay, and wow. I, 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 see, yeah. I, I see them. Keith is in a lot of those plays as well. Say it again. Yeah. Christian Keith is in a lot of those plays. Well. <laughs> yeah, I think that um, that's another thing too. Like, uh, so I would bring in a name. I probably would not bring in. Um, but I would bring in a name to balance somebody who I was growing. So let me give you an example. So I have a, a protege under me who God is really blessing her. She's branching out. She actually had a chance to work with Mr. Garrett. Um, her name is uh, Debbie Lane. You guys will probably hear more about her if you know about her. Uh, and so Debbie, now I would, to get some light on Debbie, I would bring in, um, I would bring a it would be in to give Debbie some rights. You know what I'm saying? But but Debbie would be the sign, and I would bring her in for that. Now, I know I would do that, but I wouldn't bring... I believe in giving back where you are. I believe that if I'm here, and I know there are 50 actors here that are kids, would do the work, would do it for half my budget, would bust their butt like it's theirs, um... Uh, Let's let's get them in here. Let's let them do it. You know what I'm saying? And then when it gets to the point where, okay, we need to get over that next pump, I need to get a promoter. I need to get somebody to help me with this. Then I might put an extra five dollars on this and, and bring in a uh, you know a Robin Givens to get my person seen. <laughs> but yeah, I just think we need to start paying more. I'm just paying more dues. Seeing you know giving back. Just get reaching in and giving back when you pull up and give back. John Ruffin is really good with that. John Ruffin, you know, he he will bring in people, but then he'll always keep his um he has a circle that he keeps with him. And so as he grows, they grow, you know, and that's that's but again, um and I can only say that about him because I've had a chance to work with him and he actually um when I was going through my scenario when I lost my daughter, he was like the person who told me either do it or don't do it. You know what I'm saying? You can't, if this is in you to do, you have to do it. Either you, because people are going to pay to come and see what you're doing. Okay. You keep the audience. So do it or get off the box. And do it or just get off the uh, block. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know, do it or get off the block. And it was like the best advice in the world I could have had because there are times when. Um, you know, the play, I'm, I'm ready to roll, and I've had an incident where, you know, I had tickets with stuff and sold, and people were promises, and, and all this to the last minute, like right before curtain, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to these people when they get off the stage. Well, you can't stop the show. I mean, you got people in the audience who are believing in you. You know, so you got to kind of keep it moving, but, but you have to plan. You really have to plan your vision. I mean, it's even in the Bible, right? The vision makes a plan, but you want to plan it. Hey, it's going to cost me $5 to see these people. I got to find $5 because although I have faith with God, you know, some ways not never just, I mean, they have, I mean, man from heaven. It don't happen. You'll walk in there and they'll feed you. The most agenda is you're supposed to pay them. <laughs> That's how it works. You pay them, they give you what you need. So if you want to feed people, you got to have the money to feed them. You got to find the five dollars. You have to budget that out. You, got, you know what I'm saying? So, I, it's, it's all about taking that month or two before you actually launch and securing funds and then making it work. Just making it work. Well, we're going to take a commercial break right now and we're going to come back and ask you, uh, we're going to wrap it up and then we're going to ask you, uh, 
for another question. Ladies and gentlemen, give me a call at 708-343-3906. That's 708-343-3906. Smooth 90.5 FM. We are here live. We want you to give us a call. 708-343-3906. That's 708-343-3906. Smooth 90.5 FM. WGSJBC Radio. I'd like to hear from you. If you got any questions, if we have Miss Lynn still live on the phone. And i uh, like to hear from you. So give us a call. I'd like to know your thoughts, your views. Uh, if you have a question and you are a new playwright and you want to know more about this, we're talking about the financial issue of playwright. Yes, we, uh, we're, we're talking with you about your play, but at the same time, we wanted to know the financial point and aspect of uh, writing a play or getting into this industry. Can you hold on? Can you hold on for a second, Lynn? For real. Ladies and gentlemen, give me a call at 708-343-3906. That's 708-343-3906. Smooth 90.5 FM. Call now. Call now. That's right. Call now. Give me a call. Tacchio Radio. The station so far in front, we need ourselves coming. That was completely unnecessary, but a lot of fun to watch. Right now the time is 2 o'clock 209, after 2 And the traffic is moving a little slow right now On I-290, approximately 15-25 miles per hour uh, A little back up right now due to the snowstorm is coming down It is heavy, so please be careful Drive safely also, if you're going heading down to Kingery, uh, and don't forget, the Bishop Ford is moving a little slow at this present time, approximately 15, 45 miles per hour. Uh, you got to slow it down, slow it down, no speeding. Uh, watch your uh, traffic views. Well, also, stay off the cell phones if you don't want a ticket, because they are giving tickets with the cell phones in your hand. You're listening to Smooth 90.5 FM, WGSJBC Radio, the Rob G Afternoon Drive Show. This is your traffic hour. At the time of 2.10, today is the 13th of January. Don't forget, give me a call at 708-343-3906, 708-343-3906, Smooth 90.5 FM. You have never heard anything better than this. Your radio never sounded better. That's right. Smooth 90.5 FM. This is the station that is on right now. We have, uh, we're have we going to wrap this up right now because we're going to have some more callers coming in. Uh, we have Miss Lynn live on the phone. Um, her last name is Patriot. Am I correct? Parrot. Parrot. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I don't want to mess up your name. But we have had a great, great conversation with you. I am yeah. looking forward to coming and seeing one of your productions. And uh, please send me uh, your information to the email so Tiffany and I can, you know, make a stop by and see one of your productions because uh, we, we've had a great time. We've had a tag team duo today with Mr. Victor Gully and Miss Lynn. I'm parrot. the parrot, <laughs> and I want to thank you very much for calling in. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna ask you one question, and okay. I, uh, we're doing something a little different off uh, off key. I'm gonna say a play or a movie, and in one word, tell me your thought about it. One word. Oh my God, you would do that to me. I'm not good at that. But go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Color purple. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Uh, rising in the sun. Oh, touching, point driven. Yeah. I thought about, uh, oh my God, I can't think of his name, but I thought about my guy who, oh, anyway, go ahead, go ahead, next one. Cosby Show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cosby Show. Um, yeah. That is stage, right? Yeah, okay. historical. <laughs> okay. okay, that is stage. It is on a stage set. It is on TV, but it is a stage. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's shot on the TV. You're right. You're so right. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh, 
That's it. That's it. Oh. Okay, well, let me give you one. You ready? Uh, wow, this is the first. Go ahead. <laughs> um, beauty Shop. Beauty Shop. You talking about the movie or no, Shelly Garrett? Shelly Garrett, yeah. Heart ripping. Yeah. Heart wrenching. It, 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 you, can, you can't just say one word to beauty yeah. shop. No, you can't. No, you can't. So that, that, that's, that, that's, that's why I didn't throw that out there because it, it's, that's an unfair statement to say. No, it's not. It, it, it's, it's hard. It, it's, there, it is so much you can say about beauty shop that yeah. leaves you on your seat there. It leaves you on your seat waiting for more. Yeah, and that's, you know what, but see, that is what, Kicked it off. That's what the, that's the domino effect that um, you know he thank God for him because that's what he gave us. He gave us that that sit on your edge of your seat type of attitude. And so either you wanted to act, if that's what you did, you wanted to act, or you wanted to write, or you wanted to connect them and see how that happened, how that whole flow happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, even I love I love my daughter is a Tyler Perry. Uh, and had us drive all the way to Atlanta one weekend just to uh, see one of his latest plays. But um, he has a he has a way of bringing to life. I think some of his um, plays are a little like me, kind of long winded. But I love that that he lets his character kind of flow. That every um, um, play has a you know a message in it. And to me, you entertain and give a message. That's that's it right there. Okay. So, but, but let me tell you this before we do get out, because I know you do have somebody else coming on, um, that I do want to uh, tell my people not to be afraid to, to just step out the line. When you have a dream of doing it, you got to at least try it. So just, just all I want all I want people to do, only thing I would educate a young person in that is business and business is to uh, plan it. Execute it good, good, and surround yourself around good people, positive people, not yes people, not people who say yes to everything that you do. Somebody who's going to say to you with their heart, no, nah, that doesn't sound right. You know what I'm saying? Out of respect, that doesn't sound right. Or, you know, somebody who you know has your heart. Surround yourself with those people, and then if you make $5 off of it, try to pay your tithe and, re- and put it back into the next production. And <laughs> if you don't, don't stop. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. If this is what you're supposed to do, you don't let hard times knock you down. You just take it, learn something from it, and keep it moving. Um, uh, and then I do want people to come out to meet me and get the book. And I do have, like, uh, I have a DVD of Heart Desire, but I wouldn't, you know, I'll probably give it to people. I sell it. I'm not going to sell it because, yeah, a friend shot it for me. He was really good, though, but I wasn't trying to sell the DVD. Uh, but so, and I will be doing Heart Desire again uh, this year. I can get my people lined up. I'm trying to do it for Valentine's Day. But my my Malcolm uh, Banks is starring in everything now. And my Debbie, who is out there in Detroit, just blowing it up. And so all my people that are, and I thank God for them. They, they knock it out. But uh, I have to schedule around them. So whenever I can get them free, we're going to do it again. Uh, I probably will do it in July for my my daughter passed in July. And so I use July as my month of domestic violence awareness. And so I probably will do it again for the weekend in July. Um, but you can always get my book, Tribulations of Love. Go online, go on Amazon.com, or meet me at the um, Alumni of Carol on the 24th. And, um, you know, Let's make it happen. Get the book there. Only ten dollars uh, when you come to see me. If you go online, they might be more than that. Download them on Kindle. My brother just texted me from um, Nashville saying he can't get through. I guess he was trying to call you. Anyway. Oh well, uh, <laughs> well I, I uh, will have him in a few minutes. Is that Mr. Anthony? No, this is uh, Leo. Is he called through? No, my brother Leo Hall is a uh, he is a film. Um, director and he's a writer he has uh, a couple of movies out there but we did a huge production uh, a couple of summers ago and yeah he was my brother oh, he was my brother <laughs> but yeah so he has a okay. couple of uh, uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Man, <laughs>